Fair warning, this is not a bus video. This is a video about some metal fabrication of some whimsical mushrooms I made for a neighbor as a little volunteer project. And I recently got these done, so my daughter and I went over and helped install them. So these are our dear friends, Pascal and Brian. Pascal is French, so we have a little French language uh, explanation in here as a bit of an homage. And hat tip to our good friends Ivan and Sylvie from the LaCroix Cruisers. If you don't watch their channel, you should. Anyway, let's hear from Brian and Pascal, and then afterwards I'll show you what I did. Do one of my little videos here. Right. These are mushrooms yeah. that I made for the neighbors. This is Brian and his amazing Land Rover. That thing is just gorgeous. So what we're doing today is he's trading me that Land Rover for these priceless mushrooms. Yeah, and I'm very happy. <laughs> That's a big ass mushroom. And there are a couple over here. So these are my neighbors and good friends. This is Brian and Pascal, and I'll let them explain what we did here. I'm Pascal. This I'm is Brian. Brian. <laughs> so here we are in the middle of Arizona, northern Arizona, and we don't have a lot of mushrooms. Oh, yes, we do. We have giant mushrooms here. And actually, you know, Russ has been good to uh, reproduce uh, what Pascal wanted that we saw in Dur yeah, actually, Durham. I fell in love with mushrooms in Durham, visiting the Arboretum. In Scotland, so, that is, right? No, it's, it, it's Still England. in England. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, so I copied them. And, uh, oh, actually, Ross copied them. And I don't think that British people are going to be so mad. So, and uh, so I love my mushrooms and I'm totally delighted. And we just, you know, set them in, as you can see, you know, in concrete. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show over here. We've We're got the two happy. little ones. And the big one. Yeah, and Ross did a fantastic job on that. And uh, all well, it was a, this was a neighborly favor. So you were very patient. It took me about a year to get these done. <laughs> and then for our French friends, for our French-speaking friends. Oui, alors bon, ici nous sommes au centre de l'Arizona du Nord, où il n'y a, a typiquement pas de champignons. Eh bien, nous, trop nous avons cette eau sec. Nous avons des champignons gigantesques ici qui, en fait, nous ont été inspirés par des champignons identiques que nous avons vus dans une magnifique propriété à Durham. C'est l'arboretum. L'arboretum de Durham. Et on a ramené l'idée, Pascal a ramené l'idée, et depuis, c'est une fixation qu'elle a, une obsession, je dirais. Et euh, donc, euh, ils ont pu être réalisés ici. Euh, grâce à Ross. Grâce à Ross, qui effectivement... Qui les a copiés Oh là là <rire> Un travail extraordinaire. Là. Voilà, on, nous venons de les planter, comme vous voyez, ça, ça, ça se voit. Mais nous Et ce ne sont pas des champignons de Paris, pas du tout. Et pas sont, du tout. Ils ne sont pas vénéneux du tout. <rire> All right, well, let me get a shot with the whole entry, and then you can wave, and we will wrap up this project. It was fun. Thanks, folks. Adios. So this was the inspiration. Pascal had this photograph from a trip she took and she wanted something like this for the entryway. So she sent me the photograph. I imported that into a graphics program and traced the outlines of the top and then the mushroom base. And I took those and then imported those into my CNC plasma cutting program. I use a uh, Inkscape, and then finally into Mach 3, where I used it on my table, cut out the pieces. I made them as big as I could. So there's one big mushroom, a little medium size, and then two small ones. Welded them together, hammered them out to make them dimpled and a bit rounded, and then attached them to poles. So this is what they look like just bare. I kind of like the dimpled look. Took a bit of force, a lot of hammering, but I think they came out really nice. And then to give them that rusty look, I sprayed them with a mixture of hydrogen peroxide, plain white vinegar and salt. And this was 
after I did the first spray, you can see a little bit of rust forming. And then the next morning, after a second spray and letting them sit overnight, this is what they look like. So that happens pretty fast. It's not caustic or anything, not like a strong acid. And then we took them over to the house, used the jackhammer, put these bases in concrete, and everybody was just super happy. So this was a fun little project. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Have a great day. Be well. Enjoy the mushrooms. Enjoy life.